Welcome back everyone. Um, I want to apologize in advance for the shakiness of this video. Um, again, I'm doing it on my couch. I haven't yet to get a tripod, so um, it's going to be pretty shaky. I'll, I'll try to use two hands, keep it down to a minimum. So this is my uh, first flip with commentary on my um, third journal. Um, I have four journals on the go. So far you've seen two. Uh, this journal in particular is almost finished. Um, so it's, it's quite fun. It's a lot <clears throat> It's a lot bigger than the other journals I'm working in. It's a square size. It was the first uh, coil bound journal I used. Um, so experimenting with, with that and how it differs from the moleskin and um, some of the uh, composition journal that I, that I first started with. So um, this first page, uh, it was for a year in the life of an art journal prompt. The word was hope. Um, as you can see here, there's lots of textures. Um, here is the some gesso in, in the in the background. Oh, there's my cat wanting to come see what's going on. Um, layers of gesso, layers of acrylic. Um, this page started. You can barely see it back here. With some watercolor crayons I used. Um, just just to start, and then then added a bunch of uh, acrylics on top. You can see this is those portfolio watercolor crayons um, that I showed in my uh, couch art supplies video. Uh, I got a vintage lady. I got some uh, can company little uh, vellum butterfly there. An image of a playing card. More a stamp title. Um, as a scrapbooker, like I said in a prior video, I like like to put titles on, on my pages. So I got my little uh, tilted table here going on. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's helping me out, but uh, uh, it's a little precarious right now. I'm worried that my that my pen thing is going to fall. But, um, on the next page, again, this was uh, another prompt from a year in the art, year in the life of an art journal. We got unknown uh, was the prompt on this one. So you can see here. Got the Tim Holtz stamp. Um, I got a magenta, I think it was, faux stitching stamp, an old number stamp. Um, this is the page you'll notice as the the background on my my uh, YouTube channel. This is where it came from. You recognize that. Um, this page was mostly created with um, craft paint. Uh, you can see the white, the blue, the green. Uh, mostly craft paint. Uh, it reacts a little bit different. Um, so I, I had this flower stamp I used I used paint on. Uh, an old tag here. Oh, my cat just wants my love right now. Um, on the next page, this was not a prompt. It was just something that I had in my head. Um, talks a little bit about how I'm not I'm not a, a fancy type girl. I'm I'm definitely a, a jeans and a t-shirt and running shoes. Um, type girl so not so fancy this was a, a new stencil you can get them at Michael's it's this um, come it's in the section where the new uh, paint cannon is from um, they also have some some graffiti stencils that I really like so that fancy was a, a part of a set that I bought but um, I just sponged some black paint through it here's my hand carved stamped again um, here's some of that paper that I showed in in my last vid, and I'll show it again. It's the Mine's My Home set um, stack there. So it's already got the embossing. I painted over it. Got a little um, Kane Company embellishment there. Um, yellow paint on my hand carved stamp. A little flower. More of the paper down here. Very fun page. Very bright. Like how, I liked how that turned out. Uh, the next page, um, not, not a prompt. You can see here I was playing around with scraping, um, paints, uh, over other paints. I started the black as some black gesso, and then I was, um, have some craft paint mixed with glaze medium here for the red, and I scraped on some white acrylic paint with a credit card on top of that, and just a couple of different layers. I used some, some tape to hold down some um, index cards that I have my journaling on. A small, there's my cat, wanting, wanting some love here. Um, 
small ephemera from our chick studios an old sticker so it was just a, a real fun page it was actually real quick to do uh, on this side this is really old um, really old paper it was from a collage stack uh, in another video I'll have to show you what I'm talking about but I bought them at Michael's again like six seven years ago I'm so happy that the collage retro stuff is back in style I can use all this stuff again um, some old stickers. Here's another stencil from that graffiti line I was talking about in the last couple pages. Uh, again, with just paint. This was brown paint going through. Old stickers you may you may recognize more down here. Um, it's hard hard to tell here. Uh, this page was done with. Uh, sorry guys, I'm getting a shower here. <clears throat> some watercolor paints. Um, some inking in the background. I believe I, I put some glimmer mist over it and let the watercolor um, paints run with the glimmer mist. This the stamp word stamp didn't turn out so well, so I just put some stickers above that. Um, in a different page, I used this woman's face, so this was the negative of that or that was left. So I just painted on the inside and then and then uh, journaled with black marker on top of it. Um, this page is kind of fun. There's actually uh, not very much journaling on it. It was just a random collage some, from a bunch of different different papers and uh, some really old, really old um, embellishments there. Got a random bingo card. Added my swirls. Um, this was done with a watercolor pencil. Just add a little bit of water on top of that. You can see here that this is all gesso when I put everything down. My cat really wants attention. I apologize. I put some gesso down. Um, then you can see, or maybe not because it's it's some kind of dark, but you can kind of see the shine where I spray Glimmer Mist um, on top of it. I love how Glimmer Mist reacts with gesso. So don't be afraid to try that. Um, just a, a fun page, little collage. I just felt like collaging that day. And, uh, you know, my journaling, you can barely see it barely see it there but not all of your journal pages have to have journaling on it I mean our journaling is what you want it to be right um, this was this was a fun page I liked uh, enjoyed how to do it so you can see in this picture that I started out with a base of gesso and a lot of this is watercolor paints just playing around with with watercolor um, these are the shiny shiny watercolors I showed in my uh, my art journaling <clears throat> my last video on, on my couch art journaling supplies. Um, I did spray some glimmer mist through a uh, glimmer screen there. Um, some newer, newer embellishments from Kane Company. Um, old foam set. I did some hand swirls in it. A hand drawn um, art, artist love there, and uh, you know, just a fun vellum sticker. Some packing, sorry, masking tape and lots of lots of journaling a uh, little bird on the bottom so like here I, in my last video a couple of videos ago I talked about threes so I got one two and three different focal points but really love how this page turned out um, playing with watercolors um, is new to me and and very fun so um, this page lots of layers of paint going on here um, I, I seem to say that a lot, but this one really has a lot of paint going on. I started with the yellow acrylic um, craft paint background and then just scraped a bunch of paints on top. Again, letting them dry in between. Um, if you don't, you'll get a muddy, muddy mess. So, um, you can see here, i got yellow, green, blue. There's some reds, a um, couple of old stickers, and my cat just, oh, um, Again, an old foam stamp set. This let go is a hand carved stamped. Um, old stickers there. Some packing tape um, that I mentioned before. Sorry, not packing tape. Masking tape um, that I did my journaling on. There's a little hand carved stamped of me. <laughs> that was fun to do. Um, so there's some personal journaling on here. I got the white paint uh, flicked on with, with a paintbrush that just kind of added a... Uh, um, just kind of brought it all together all the different layers of paint on this one so um, my time's up I appreciate you guys watching I uh, hope you learned a little bit and enjoyed my my first couple pages in this journal I apologize for my cat going 
nuts in the background. Anyways, have a great day.